I'm Sarah and I'm back and I'm ready to date again. I love dating older guys. I want them to be at least 50 plus. I like dating older guys because they tend to be more mature. I like how they look. I've been single for about four months now. I started seeing somebody right after I saw Mason and that didn't go too well. I do struggle with dating because I do OnlyFans for a living and a lot of guys are not comfortable with what I do. Today I'm going on my first blind date. Hi. Well, hi. So do you mind if I sit? Go for it. Thanks. I have something to tell you. I went on a date a couple days ago and oh. I really liked the guy. Oh, okay. So today I'm wearing this. I just thought it looked really sexy. So I think my date's gonna like it. I'm Sarah, I live in Florida and I lived here for about a year now. Right after I broke up with Mason, I started dating this guy and he was an influencer. So we started making content together. So Mason is a really nice guy. I don't have anything bad to say about him. It just didn't work out. We had a lot of disagreements. Why were they better in bed than I was? I don't know. Why can't we just get on to the next question? Today I'm going on a blind date. The last time I went on a date was a couple of days ago. It went really well, so I'm not sure if my date today is gonna be able to measure up, but I'm excited. I tend to go for guys who have the same goals as me, guys who work in entertainment or do OnlyFans, because those are my goals. I'm Jerry, I'm 68 years old, and I'm an actor and life coach. I like someone who is a good conversationalist, someone with a good sense of humor, someone who I can laugh with. I don't really have a type, I don't think. Except I will say that I am partial to blondes because my ex-wife was a brunette. Hi. Well, hi. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Nice I'm, to meet I'm you. I'm Jerry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jerry. See, I, he asked me what my type is, and I said, well, I don't really have a type, but I'm partial to blondes because my ex-wife is a brunette. Oh. I, I'm perfectly <laughs> fine with hot pink hair. Well, it washes out after a couple days, though. So. Does it really? Yeah, it does. Maybe I should try it. Yeah, you should. It would look really <laughs> sexy on you. <laughs> Maybe the next time I um, have uh, comedy night, I do stand-up comedy. Oh, you do? So do you mind if I sit? Go for it. Thanks. So what got you into stand-up comedy? I've been making friends laugh, friends and family laugh forever. I've been on stage six times doing it. I love it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. When I was born, the doctor said to my mother, Mrs. Layton, you've given birth to a six pound, eight ounce comedian. <laughs> she said, what about the sex? And I looked at her and I said, mom, you just gave birth. You're talking about sex? And she passed out and here I am. <laughs> you are funny. So, thanks. So why, why older men? Because I like how they look. Um, I feel like they're more mature too. I mean, I just recently got out of a relationship with a guy who was my age. He just acted like a child. So yeah. I don't want to deal with that. And they're really only after one thing. Yeah, exactly. Right? Sex and a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But when you get to my age, we go straight for the sandwich. <laughs> but it better be a really good sandwich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What about you? Do you like younger girls? I do. Oh, you do? I okay, do. good. This is actually my first blind date since before I was married. And I'm divorced 16 years, so it's been a while. I haven't oh, been wow. on a blind date. How long were you married for? 18 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's a long time. My yeah. longest relationship was three years. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on like a lot of blind dates, to be honest. Um, I used to do like the whole sugar baby, sugar daddy thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. that was a while ago. It's been about four years now, so. Okay. Yeah. I don't I... have any interest in it anymore. Well, that's good. Do you believe in astrology? Um, not really. No? Okay, so then we have to talk about something else. <laughs> I've never really like read up on astrology that much. Yeah. Well, I, I know I'm a Leo. But there's this whole other stuff with like your rising sign and your moon and your sun and I never remember any of that. So I just know I'm a Leo. 
My sign is Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I had a very brief relationship with a Scorpio. How was that like? It was very physical. Lots of sex, not a lot of talking. I would say that's true. Oh, good. <laughs> Um, I'm actually gonna go to the bathroom right now. So okay. I'll be right back. All right. The date's going really well so far. He's really nice, he's interesting, and he's not bad to look at. I was really relieved when I saw him and saw that he was my type. I wanna find out if he's ever dated somebody who has an OnlyFans or if he would be open to that. I'm back. Oh, hey. Hey. You I, got me wine? I took the liberty of, yeah, ordering oh, us some drinks. I hope that's you. okay. I love that's wine. Pinot Grigio. Yes, oh my God, that's my favorite. Is it really? Yeah, that's my wow. favorite. I must be a mind reader. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To first dates. Nice meeting you. Great meeting you. You asked me all about what I do. So, what do you do? My last ex told me that he could never take our relationship seriously because I do OnlyFans. I'm messaging guys on OnlyFans. Sometimes they'll request custom videos or one-on-one -on -one video calls. So I actually do OnlyFans. Ah, okay. How's that going? It's going really well. Yeah? I enjoy it a lot. How long have you been doing it? I've been doing it since 2017. Wow. Before that, I was doing um, camming. Like okay. on my free cams and Chatterbait, I would go live camming. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's where I've seen you before. <laughs> at Exotica. Did you ever do the Exotica shows? Yeah, I have. In, in New Jersey or down here? I believe Which I did, did one in New Jersey and there was two in Chicago that I did. I was at the one in, in Jersey in 2019. Yeah, that was the one. Oh, you were there then. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What do you think about me doing OnlyFans? Is that change I think it's your awesome. On no, oh, really? No, I think it's awesome. Oh, okay. I think people are so hung up about sex. It's like, <gasps> can't talk about sex. Oh, she does OnlyFans. Oh, she must be a. S it's you know, this is your business. People are so hypocritical because they'll talk that way in public, but then they'll subscribe in private. You know, so I think it's fantastic. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. So I have something to tell you. Oh. I went on a date a couple of days ago and oh. I really liked the guy. I, oh. Well, I'm going to see him again. Okay. But I really like you. You're a really interesting guy and Thanks. I had fun talking to you. Yeah. You're really nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my biggest fault. I'm really nice. <laughs> well, I would love to see uh, one of your comedy shows around uh, here. I've got friends. one coming up in Miami on May 10th at Tripping oh, Animals Brewery. I'm going to be hosting my very first open mic. I'll you have to town. come. Yes, I will and, come. And bring I your promise. new boyfriend, if he's still your boyfriend. <laughs> I will. OK. <laughs> I thought the date went well, but when I told him about the guy I was seeing, it got really awkward because he was so disappointed. You know, I really do think he's funny and I would love to see one of his comedy shows. I thought he was a nice guy. And another one bites the dust, another one bites the dust, and another one's gone, and another one's gone, another one bites the dust. <clears throat> well, it was, um, interesting it was fun while it lasted it was probably my shortest date ever but she's cute and sweet she thought i was funny and that counts for something because i do comedy i'm definitely not going to jump off the railing into the ocean it was fun and she's a sweet kid